Hello, good afternoon everybody. Um, after yesterday's little episode where we couldn't go live, it seems that everything's working fine today. Funny that, isn't it? That's the way it happens. Um, we're incredibly busy on YouTube. Thank you for bearing with me. I am a, a little bit early, um, but to be honest, I was a bit nervous about what happened yesterday, so I thought we'll, we'll test it early and we'll see what happens. But we seem to be happening, so that seems to be absolutely fine. Um, so let me just go back to the beginning with YouTube. Oh, that's going slow. Come on, back, back, back. Um, Amanda, hello. She says, good morning. It's, uh, it's, very, it's evening here. Hello, Shelley and Mary. I, I, yeah, I sorted out those gremlins, Mary. No idea how, but it seems to be okay. Um, hello, Amanda. Humid in Georgia, she says, and uh, Hassana uh, in California. Welcome along. Hello, Lisa and Marilyn. We haven't got our Lisa today. She's, um, she's being grandma. Um, Cheryl says hello to you. Anne, Leanne, Kathy, um, Synth Talent. Hello, she's in Hensford. Um, Sue's in the UK, hello. I'm very good, thank you. Patrice, how are you? Um, oh, let me skip through. I'm sorry if I miss any of the comments, but once we start, they, they scroll. So I try to get as many halloos as I can. It's a lovely morning, says Tina and Alf. What, where are you for it to be a lovely morning? Because here it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, has this started, then it won't play. Oh, I, I think we're okay. I don't know, Beverly, I think we're okay. Hello, Laura from London. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Laura. Um, hello, Annie on Facebook and Janet and Sandra and Patricia and Linda and uh, Ruby Coco. <whistles> Walkies. Got to go out now. And um, Anne Belinda. Hello. She says from South Africa. And who's that in the state? Sorry, you've just you disappeared. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Barbara is in IL, Illinois. Bought a car from there once. Um, hello, Anne. Oh, thank you. It's a dress. It's um, next, I think. Um, hello, Betty in Edinburgh. Linda, hello to you. Sharon and Mary, hello. And um, oh, Barbara's in Newark. And Sarah, you enjoy Crate and Craft. Do you know, I, I was on, if you want to, I was on Crate and Craft yesterday and this morning. It, and, and not that I'm going back to Crate and Craft as a presenter, but I was standing in for presenters that were absent because of the summer party last night. They, they literally had, I had a call saying, we have no presenters, can you help? So I said, it's a one-off. But I really enjoyed the sewing shows. I'm, I'm not so interested in paper craft, to be honest. Sorry, but I, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't light my fire. But the sewing shows this morning, I really enjoyed those. Did you, anybody see them? Anthea is hilarious and lovely, lovely products as well. It's, it's really nice to kind of to bring you something that is so fantastic. Hayley's lovely as well. Really enjoyed working with Hayley. Um, watching on TV this morning. Yeah, I have to apologise for the red nose and the under, under eye bags because I was up at four o'clock this morning, so I, a little bit like that today. So I'm hoping that everything I prepped for the show yesterday that I couldn't do because we just didn't, it didn't happen, did it? I'm hoping I've got everything here and everything's okay. I, I peaked early. You did? I did, because I thought I'd test it to see if we, we, we could go live, because yesterday we didn't. So, and I tested it and we weren't live. So I'm, I'm live. We're live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, hi, Denise. Hi, Pamela. And uh, I'm very good, thank you. Another Denise and Amy and Brenda, Jill, agree about pay graph, not for me. I'm rubbish at it, Jill. When I, when I was proper presenter, full time kind of thing, I, um, I did, th they used to do sale shows later on in the evening. It was basically a whole lot of stuff that they couldn't shift. And they stick a presenter on and you go, got this, got this, got this, got this. And they're like 60 yards, you know, this and this. And, this, and, this, and, this. Um, and they say, do you want to make something? I can make a card. Of course I can. All you do is stick stuff onto a piece of paper and you get a card. My cards look like I'd stuck stuff onto a piece of paper. I'm absolutely rubbish at card making. Admire those who can. Not for me. There's always Sainsbury's for that. Um, hi, Jen. Jen, Jen oh, it's gone. It's gone, Jen. Never found the eye, Michelle. I had a look around the studio today and it is not there, so I don't know what I've done with it. So therefore, I have to buy myself a new one because I've still got this big cumbersome fat thing, which is fine, but not like my little brim. I love the webbing style fabric. Never seen that before, and those fabrics are amazing. Ordering the rainbow. Oh, those tassels were lovely. The Haley's products were so cheap. I don't know how she does it. I don't, I don't know how she sells on Crane Craft and makes a profit out of them. Um, Thanks for that. Got two demented dogs. <laughs> well, you know. Um, 
Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, one's just disappeared. Think your drawings would look great on cards. We, we, we did discuss that, but nothing ever happened to it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, Laura, I've been keeping Laura company all day. Hi, Debbie. Where are we? We're not. I don't want to start anything till four o'clock because that's when I said I'd be here. So, we'll hang, we'll hang on a minute. Um, Susan uses her embroidery machine to stitch on cards. Oh, that's a nice idea. And hi, Alan. Thanks for your email. Th actually, Alan, thank you for your support. Because I think Alan's been there for every show that I've done, last night and today. Thank you so much. I did ask for lots of emails today, but their printer was broken. And that's one of the things about Creation Craft. It's a little bit archaic as far as that kind of tech. See, on Sewing Street, you have an iPad. Messages on Facebook, emails come through. I hope nobody's watching from Creating Craft. But on Creating Craft, the producer prints out and then the floor manager goes and gets a piece of paper. So I was asking for your emails, and thank you so much if you did email in, but I wasn't ignoring you. They literally can't print out emails. In this day and age. Hello, Ruth in California. Um, Ginny's just going out to lunch. Oh, hello. Do have a lovely lunch, Ginny, won't you? Hi, Grace. Sorry, Brother, brother Sewing Machine. That's so lot. Uh, that's uh, crazy. Um, isn't Becky nice? I've never met her before. But she's so lovely and she has a very exciting project coming up that she can't talk about, but she won't be on your screens for a few months. But you'll find about it on Channel 4 oh, next year. But she's, she's so talented. Oh, she was lovely. Um, oh, thank you, Linda. I'm glad you watched it. The lady with the tassels, you know, Haley is lovely. She's such a she's such a nice person. Um, and was watching the sewing, lovely. Tessie's got a question. When putting a long strap together, what's the best way to do that with smaller pieces, like eight six inch panels, to make a long crossbody strap? T well, Tessie, wouldn't you just join all the panels together, join all the pieces together, and then cut out the width that you want? I'd, I th I think that's the way that it would work. Hi, Jan. Um, she enjoyed this morning. Thank you. Hi, Michelle. Um, Laura's definitely not a paper craft. I wish I was. I wish I could do it, but I'm just, just rubbish at it. A bit like a crochet. I had a go at crochet. Well, I, I say I had a go at crochet. I tried to do a stitch. I just split the thread. I'm, I'm just rubbish at that. Um, oh, thank you, Ducey. Uh, enjoy the shows. Oh, thank you, Tony. Seen on Crate and Craft says Lizzie. Make a bedroom with the tartan scraps. They were such good value. That fabric, I love that. You know, the whole um, tweed and tartan, the, the look of that. It's so nice, isn't it? I've really enjoyed that. And Anthony was hilarious. Um, Christine's cutting out the sewing machine set from way back. Right, I need to scroll forward a little bit, so sorry if I'm missing any of these, but there's, um, there's some, oh, hi, Julie. I'm so, there's so many questions and comments. Thank you, Jane. Hi, Margaret. Uh, over here then. Um, a cube dice with the new baby panels. I did make a cube somewhere, Alan. I've lost it. But yes, I did make a cube with, with taggy ribbons in it, so it's, uh, it's quite tactile for kids to play with. Um, the cushions on my left are from Kim's panel. I'm scooting backwards because you can't quite see all of those, can you? Because there's another one behind here. The panel is available on the website. I should have brought, have I got one here? Let me have. I could stand up and walk, but I can't be bothered. Um, haven't got one here. Have a look on the website. It's one of Kim's panels and it's the, um, the Palm House. It was inspired by a visit that she took to Kew Garden. She lives not far from there. And you get the, the squares, the centre panel, and two long quarters as well on that panel. So have a look at that one. Jenny made Wendy and Walter yesterday and have prepped cardboard for the doll's house. Will it take long to do? Depends how you do it, Jen. Um, I liked to hand sew all of the seams together because I think it's stronger. Because certainly where the front opens up, it's like hinges. So I, I hand sewed all of those. So it could take a while, but it's look it. It's, it's <laughs> looks like Robin's been on the snowballs. He's a, he's a happy chap. Oh, there's my cube, Alan, look. That's the cube that I made, but I put um, taggy ribbons on it, so it's quite tactile. Don't make those too long, because you don't want little hands getting stuck inside them. I'll tell you what I made for Vienna, my, my middle um, granddaughter, when she was a baby. You know how kids like labels in the back of clothes? I, d I don't know what it is, but maybe there's silkiness, particularly Marks and Spencers. 
and I took I, I had to buy lots of clothes oh it was a nightmare um, but I took all of the labels and you know like the washing instructions out and I, I made a taggy blanket using just all of the labels all the way around it because I don't know what it is but they're so soft for me I, I can't wear them I have to cut every label out of anything these days it used to be like that but just recently I can't they make me hit can't stand them so I hate the ones that are actually sewn in because you can't get them out. The ones that are tacked in the corners, fine, snip them off. But I'd, anything, in, oh, size labels, washing instructions. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Can't stand the things. Um, oh, thank you, Chris. Gingerbread Fabrics from last Sunday arrived today. I did see on their Facebook page a comment about the gingerbread fabric taking a while. Uh, I, I don't send that out. That goes from the Craft Cotton Company because it's their product, not mine. But they have been incredibly busy and they've been at the Festival of Quilts as well. So that, that may, I don't know, but that may be why there's been a delay sending it out. So I'm glad you've got yours. Carol dislikes slaves. Weird, it never used to bother me. But now it's like, oh, as soon as I put it on, it's oh, itchy. Uh, when I was at Sewing Street Touch, I went to, I went to work one morning and I said to the producer, can you, here's some, silly, can you just get this label out of my top? And she says, oh, you, you just want to boast about where you buy your clothes from. No, it wasn't Chanel, but uh, yeah, no, it wasn't that at all, it just drives me mad. Um, hello, Shalene, at Southport, North Carolina. Um, Senna says they make it. I wonder what it is. Why don't they just use the same fabric as the club? Anyway, Leanna hates labels too. So does Maria. Weird, isn't it? Um, please, can you make something soon using your overlocker? Chris, we're going to do that. I'm not going to make something. I'm going to demonstrate the overlocker on Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Um, hi, Tracy. Tina, I always unpicked tags out of a clothes. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Why do you do that? Um, you didn't miss anything yesterday, Lisa. Couldn't, couldn't get online. It was a little bit bizarre. Had to buy a half yard of ribbon to enable my little... Yeah, I, it's weird, isn't it? It's just like that tacked out. When my... Um, my eldest lad, who's 41 now, um, was little. My, one of my neighbours had Dobermans. And it was that he used to send himself to sleep, touching their ears because they were so soft. And he'd get their ear and he'd roll it up and he'd tap the end of it like that. And he'd just oh, send him off to sleep. You kind of know the feeling. Dobermans weren't too happy, but it sent him to sleep. They should never put size labels in clothes. The thing is, they can print them, can't they? which must be more affordable to just print on the back of a, a garment rather than the labels, a label blanket idea. Yeah, she loved it. It's, I don't know what it is about labels. I think it's the, the softness. Anyway, we're going to do a, we're going to make a box. Um, this is the baby bag that I made using the baby panel, which we have on the website on offer at the moment. We've extended it because it was going to be just for yesterday morning and then yesterday morning was a bit of a disaster, as in couldn't get online. Um, so I'm going to do it now, but we've extended the offer. So I'll show you the panels quickly. I'll give you the sizes as well, because you don't have to buy the panels to make a bag like this. But mine's going to be small. It's going to be two boxes. So if you just wanted to make this as something to store your fat quarters in, not a toy bag, then that, that would be ideal. Um, but if it is a baby bag, it's just somewhere to keep all your nappies. It looks nice in the nursery, doesn't it? So this is the panel. We've got three colours. This one's the blue. And there's 12 five-inch square, I want to say, I can't remember, squares, with retro style of toys and prams and rattles and cubes. So that's the blue option. Every panel that you buy, now you don't have to do anything. Every panel that you buy, we will send out half a meter of lemon fabric so don't feel you need to order the lemon fabric you'll get it anyway so just order a panel it will come with a half meter of lemon fabric so that's the offer that was that we we're going to do just for yesterday morning but we thought you know didn't go too well let's just uh, in fact as long as we've got the stock i'm going to say that now as long as we've got the stock every single panel will come with half a meter of le <laughs> lemon fabric hope we've got enough um if you want extra so, for instance, if you think, well, for, to make the quilt, half a metre will make the top. If you want to use the lemon on the backing, you'll need another half a metre, so you'll need a metre. So, if you ordered half a metre and the panel, you'll get a metre because you get your half metre free. And we'll try to get it all in one, 
all in one stretch. It depends how busy we get and if we can actually um, get them cut to shape. But we'll try and make it in one. So if you order a panel and half a metre, you'll get a metre. If you order a panel, you'll get half a metre. So don't think you have to do anything else. So that's the blue option. And then this is the green. The green we don't have very many left. That's been the most popular of all of the colours. So if you want the green, I'd order it pretty quickly. Um, the panel for the cushions is it so showing sold out? Is that this? One? Is that that has? I'm sure that hasn't sold out. Uh, Trisha, bear with me. After I finish here, I'll go and check the stock because I'm sure we have stock of that still. We might have to take some from Create and Craft. Maybe that's why it's uh, showing sold out. Um, could you keep patterns in it? Uh, of course you can. You know, I called it a nursery panel. I should have called it a toy panel. It doesn't have to be for the nursery. That's actually a really good size for patterns. Which I'm, I'm going this way now on my wheels. Bear with me a second. Got a whole pile of patterns over there. Perfect size for your patterns. They fit in width ways really well. I don't know about you, but I could fill that. Maybe two or three of them. So that's a really nice idea too. Thank you for that. So that one's the green. I'm not expecting this to last more than this hour. Um, we, we've got so few of those left. And then actually my favourite, we're calling this grey. Well, we're calling it grey because Creighton, Creighton Craft called it grey. I don't think it's grey. I think it's more of a taupe colour. Um, I think it's a really classic colour. It's neither male or female. Um, it's just completely neutral. The lemon fabric that you're getting with it, we've chosen the lemon because it just goes so well with every one of those colours. But of course, you've got half a metre of that lemon, you can use it for, your li for whatever you like. If you want to mix it with the pink or with the taupe or with the purple, then you know that's entirely up to you. But it's the lemon that you're going to get free. Um, everything. Oh, Kelly. Yes, on uh, DebbieShawSewing.com. They are available on debbieshawsewing.com. It should be under new arrivals. If you can't see it there straight away, type nursery into the search bar. But remember, it won't say nursery panel plus free fabric at the moment. I should change that. Um, but you will get your free, your free fabric with it. Right. The panel's still in stock. Oh, Kim's panel is still in stock, says uh, Sarah. So if it's a cushion panel you're looking for, then put in palm house. And you'll find that, or again, I think it's still under new arrivals because it's quite a new panel. Hello, Delia in uh, California. Susanna says she loves the bears. I would make that as a carry cut for my granddaughter, carry dolls. That's a nice uh, idea, Rebecca. That would make a carry. It's quite a deep one, but you don't have to put the, the border on the top. So that would make a nice doll's carry cut, wouldn't it? And you've got enough squares left over to, in fact, if you don't put them in the bottom, I wanted to use the whole of the half metre for this, which this takes up all of the half metre of the panel and of the lemon. I had one square left. But if you don't use those in the bottom, which may be deemed as a little bit of a waste, you'll have four panels left, so you can make a blanket to go with it. You need extra lemon, though. The half metre is just enough to do that. OK, shall we do something? <laughs> Hello, Janet. She almost missed it, she says. Um, oh, Linda's late as well, she almost forgot. Lemon fabric's out of stock. Right, Sandra, keep an eye on it. If you're still ordering the panels, you will get your lemon fabric. And I will make sure, thank you, Alana, um, I will make sure that we have more lemon fabric in stock. Um, if we've sold out of all of the lemon fabric now, the, the, to go with the panels, we've got enough. If you wanted extra, Let me put that back in stock right now. But you may have to wait a few days while we get more stock. Lemon fabric isn't a problem to get hold of. Um, so and just bear with me a second. I'm sorry about this. This isn't very professional at all. But if you want to order the panel and extra fabric, you, you're going to need that back in stock now. So let me put that back in stock. And... Ma oh, no, I will put a note on the website in a bit. I don't normally do this. This is Kim's job. Um, but you may have to wait a few days for us to get more lemon fabric back in stock. So if it's just play cotton, 
pale lemon yellow, sorry. Uh, stock quantity, right. I've put some more back in stock now, so you can order. If you're just ordering the panel and the lemon fabric, you will get that and you will get it shipped out tomorrow because we, we do a lot of orders on a Monday. If you're ordering the panel with extra fabric, it may take us a few days. So just, just to warn you, but I've put it back in stock, so it's kind of on a pre-order. It, it will be available for you. Um, thanks for thanks for pointing that out because again I, d I don't normally I don't normally keep tabs on the website because that's what my children are for. Um, Alana, yes, you can because your order won't have been processed yet. So I'll make a note of that. Order extra words on the web page. Denise, if you just uh, put lemon into the search bar, I've just put it back in stock, and that will be what's it called? Plain cotton, pale lemon yellow is what you're going to be looking for. Can you make an A5 cover one day? An A5, what, an, A, an A5 book cover? That's a nice idea. We could do that. No problem. Uh, Julie's got her grandsons. They've just gone outside to play football. Nearly forgot about today. <laughs> Kick them outside to play football and we'll talk so in for a bit. Thank you, Denise. Um, Alan bought an 86 sewing patterns in 2017, which I still not used yet. Best sewing pattern I bought was the men's tie. Oh, really? We had a, where did we do men's tie, Alan? Might have been one of the magazines I used to do, can't remember. How do you order the green panel and the lemon? Margaret, if you go to debbyshawsewing.com, if you have a look on the description underneath um, the introduction to this video on Facebook, there's a link. So if you click on debbyshawsewing.com and then just type in nursery and it'll come up with the panels there. Yes to a book cover, says Carol. Wow. Yeah, Elsie, El we had a bit of a, a technical issue yesterday. Mm? So I ended up live on my phone, which I really don't like. I don't think it looks very professional. But we had no choice. Is Bob in here with... Funny you should say that, Liana, because she's just appeared outside. I think with my son. Is my son appeared outside as well? <laughs> People are asking me, Tyler, I'm going to put the camera on outside. So there's Tyler's legs. <laughs> yeah, nice legs, no socks and shoes. Where's Bob? <laughs> Show off. Bobbin, Bob, Bobbin, Bobbin. And she got shoes. So there's Bobbin's back leg. She's going to shove now. Bob, Bobbin, <whistles> Bob. One word from me completely ignores me. But you can see it's rather nice and sunny out there, so understandable why she wants to be outside. Bobbin! 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 Ruby Coco! Bobbin! Not interested. But she, uh, she is around. With my half-naked son, as you can see. She might come in in a minute, because it's nice and cool in here. She doesn't like the heat very much. It's really warm out there, isn't it? Didn't realise today. Gone all squiffy. <laughs> I rest my kids and my dog because I go squiffy eyed. Um, hello, Joyce, um, in Melbourne, Florida. Welcome along to you today. Bible cover. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a go at that. Um, Carol, I think that's uh, that's a jolly good idea. Coffee. Oh, really? coffee. I'd love a coffee. Let me get my mat that Sandra made me. Pop it on there. Thank you. I asked Tyler to give it to you, but um, he was a bit shy. My son, shy. Yes. Surprised me as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thinks I might drag him in and stick him in front of the camera. Wouldn't do that to him. Bobbin had a lovely walk in. There was, oh, do you know, Michelle, we went to, um, it, it's not one of our local woods. We do have woods locally that which we can walk to, but um, if we drive like four miles down the road, there's the most beautiful woods. I love it when you see the trees coming over the top. It's an arbor, it's called, isn't it? And it's quite cool, it's a hot day, but because everywhere is shaded with the trees. And you can just walk, I don't like walking in a straight line and coming back, I like to go in a circle. But with these woods, you can go off in different directions, then you can cross across the main path and come back the other way, and it's, I, I love walking around that. And we didn't see another person, it was, um, it was so calm, it was beautiful. Um, oh, Denise has ordered, thank you. These will, uh, Ruby and Coco in the awning. Oh, it's raining in back, is it? That's a shame. A fat quarter storage bag with sections. 
OK, Paul, the same, same kind of idea. I don't think I've got enough fabric to make sections. We'll have a look if we can do that in a minute. Take us with you, Debbie. Oh, do uh, come along. Um, hello, Lexi in Melbourne, Australia. Karen's a circle girl. I, I, I can't, straight there and back seems a bit pointless, but you have to go in a circle. We've got lots of circles. Some of them are big and some are small. Right? We're quite lucky with the walks. Um, my dogs went to the same obedience training school. Do you know, she's like my shadow. Anywhere I go around the house, she's at the bottom of the bed when I go to bed, she gets up when I get up, very confused at four o'clock this morning when I got up because that wasn't getting up time. Um, I go to the bathroom, she'll be outside the door, I'm in the bath, she's at the side, she's just everywhere with me until I want her to, or until Tyler comes along, because he's, he's second favourite. Bonjour, Valerie. Leanna loves Bobby and I know. Hello from Joba, is that? Joba? Oh, is that your dog? Is it Yoba or Joba? Um, hi, Karen. I'm done anything yet. What needle do you use for phone leather? Do we need to interface it? Uh, Jilly, uh, universal needle. Do not use a, a leather needle because it creates a split which doesn't heal in faux leather. So universal uh, is fine if you're using interfacing. You might want a denim needle, which is a little bit stronger. You don't need to interface faux leather depending on what you're making. If you're making a bag and you want to put some fusible fleece or foam on the wrong side, do it from the foam side, not from the faux leather side because that will melt because it's a plastic, it's a laminate. So from the uh, foam or fleece side, if it's fusible, and use um, a spray and lift the iron up and down. Don't run it across, just up and down and pad it across that side. And yes, you can do that. Do you remember those beautiful acorns from this morning? As a Christmas pro they were very, they were beautiful, weren't they? She did some beautiful work. I, I, was, I was really impressed with Anthea this morning. Hi, Paula in Mauritius. Went, went to Mauritius a few years, uh, uh, very many years ago. Kim's 31 and she was three, so it was very many years ago. And we went in February. <laughs> Kim was the only, the only child on the beach with a thermal vest on because it was freezing when we left here and baking hot when we got there. Hello, Carolyn in Texas. Hello, Rose in America. This is my daughter bought a trolley cart for taking a dog for a walk. You see, oh, do you know what? My sister's bought one. Um, it looks like a push chair with three wheels, on, three wheels on it. She's got two staffies and one of those can't walk very far. So she takes it for a walk. It's the only way that it can get out. So she jumps out and has a wee and jumps back in again, but it's the only way she can actually get out. I think it's just a, a lovely idea. Tony, these are, that panel is um, Palm House. If you go to the website and look under new arrivals, let me see if I can find it on here. I can't always get on the internet very well down here, um, but I'll have a go. Where's my website gone? I've got one of the pages open is buy a senior rail card. Apparently, I, I can have a, a senior rail card. Um, Theresourcezone.com. Yeah, we can do it. Here we go. So that's the website if you're on a mobile. If you go to menu, new arrivals, and we've got the cork that I showed you the day, we've got the faux fur and the velvets. And I am getting some more of that peach felt back in stock again. So just keep scrolling down. There you go. That's the Kimberly Hind Palm House panel. So it's 19 pounds and 99 pence. And it's huge. So you've got the whole block. Can you see that? You've got the whole block with the center panel on one side. It's 150 centimeters wide. And on this side, you've got the two long quarters of fabric. I know Karen, I could have had a rail card two years ago. I didn't know this still existed. Fancy. Hello, Sharon in South Africa. And um, Vala is in France, but she can, oh, Je, is that you do understand or you don't understand? Je, je comprends or je ne comprends pas? Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm not very good. Oh, hi, Nancy. She'd like to have a special taste of saw your rulers. Yes, no, that would be a nice project. Maybe that could be something that we could do for the Harvey Yard Club. Nice idea, Nance. Um, just in from what would have missed. Nothing, Julie. We're chatting. I should have, we're nearly half past. I was going to demo a bag, but I'd, we've just been chatting. I haven't done anything yet. Morning, says Sally. Uh, Deborah says, I'm going now. I just popped in to tell everyone. Thank you, Debbie, and everyone. Um, uh, uh, Debbie's getting married. Have, have a, a most wonderful time and send me pictures. 
send me pictures afterwards mixed colors of the felt please i'll i'll have a look at that linda the thing is when um wh when it arrives it's all pre-packed so we'd have to take it out of the packs and then put it into packs which is quite time consuming i have to pay someone to do it um so it might be a little in Increase in price, but I'll look into it anyway. Hi, Brenda in Kentucky. Yes, Laura, it's on order. It's all on order and paid for. So it'll be a pack of five squares again, like the other ones, not by the half meter. But um, that should be arriving hopefully. Well, hopefully Monday. As soon as it's here, I'll uh, I'll get it on the website. Um, in fact, I can drop you an email and let me let you know if you like. Senior rail cars are brilliant. My husband uses ours regularly. Um, oh, hello, Anne. She loves to chat. I love to chat as well. Hello, Alicia in Mexico and Gail in Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma. And um, what else have we got? Marie, Marie, Marie Jeanne. Oh, that's, that's a very glamorous name in um, Belgique. In Belgium. Alan's made a storage bag of sewing rulers back in 2020. He says it's easy to make. Make a bag with viscose. Having a difficult time ironing H640 onto the viscose. Don't know why, Anne. I, I, I find it quite simply. Ironing from the fabric side up and use, use steam. Start in the middle of your project and move the iron out from the center. As you, I'm trying, I know ironing boards aren't huge, but try and keep it as flat as you can while you're doing that. It should be OK. Um, anyway, shall we, shall we sew something? Shall we make a bag? Or just carry on chatting. Well, we can do what we want. It's not like shopping telly when you've got somebody telling you when you're here to move on, is it? Um, I did make a, a bag, Chris, with viscose using Detaville Light, which was the Life in Venice fabric. And I think it's, if you look on YouTube, you're on YouTube now, if you just kind of put into the search bar, my name, Debbie Shaw, and viscose bag, that should come up because it's the same kind of idea. I'm going to do a video of Wonky House. No, Jackie, all of the um, the Wonky House are all projects for Half Yard Club, and there aren't any videos on those, I'm afraid. Um, two advent calendars. Oh, the advent calendars. If you're looking at those, um, a lot of those we can't get back again. So I, I think we've got stock of all of the advent calendars at the moment, but that's probably going to be it. Um, and got the gingerbread apron from Crate and Craft. Is it available if people? No, and I, it's, it's practically sold out. I did have a word with Craft Cotton because I, I'm a retailer, or we're a retailer, um, so we buy fabric just like anybody else. You know, like Hobby Craft buys fabric from from Craft Cotton. I buy fabric from Craft Cotton, so I, I don't produce it and, and sell it. I buy it in like any other retailer would do. And I was told it was completely out of stock. You can't get it anywhere. But I did twist somebody's arm right up his back and I think I've got eight more panels coming and that's it that 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 will be the end of it um, the, the best thing to do with that when you go on to the item let me see if I can show you um, come on, come on. so if you go to let me search where's my search? oh what we, what we doing there we go if we search menu and where's my search thing menu search apron aptron that's not going to work it's got an apron and that'll take you to the current it says currently out of stock so if you click on it and scroll down a bit It'll say like a stock update. This is on your PCs or on your phone or tablets, however it you're, you're ordering. And then click on keep me updated. So can you see that? Click on keep me updated. And as soon as those panels come back in stock again, you'll get an email. Um, but there'll only be eight. I, I can't get hundreds like we had before. I've, I've literally been told if you want any more, there's eight left. So it will literally be first come first serve. So look out for the email when it comes through. Um, the rainbow birds, where did I see that? I'm sorry about this. Um, so I just saw something about rainbow birds and I can't see who it was from. I have had a busy morning, Gina. 
Oh, sorry, Nicola with stent on crying. Yeah, late last night, early this morning, relax for a few days. Are you kidding? I don't do relax. Um, the, well, there we go. Gay. Um, the rainbow bird panel is on order. So I'm hoping it's going to be here in the next few days. The problem that I have is the chap who prints the fabric for me has COVID and his father is very ill. So at the moment, everything's on hold until he can come back to work again because there's only one chap that I can, can actually print them. Um, but yes, um, thank you, Alan. It, it, they are on order. Um, there will be a few more beach hut panels coming in, and then that'll be the end of those. But the rainbow birds, yes, they will definitely be back. But I, I, it depends on when when Neil's feeling up to coming back to work again, basically. So I think I think he's allowed. Karen's managed to get the advent calendar panels. That's the next project. Um, my apron is in stock, says Alice, in with Evie Evie Lane in Tez, Telso. How do you make the advent calendar? Lynn, you f I haven't got one here to show you, I don't think. I've got a Santa sack. <laughs> I think we've got some of these left, but I haven't got an advent calendar here to show you. But with the advent calendar, you fold it. You literally fold up the sides. It, it says on the side of it where to fold. So you fold up the sides, that creates the pockets, and then you sew straight down the centre of them. It's the easiest way to make an advent calendar. So you don't have to cut out all of the individual pockets and, and sew around them. You literally fold it, you'll sew across the bottom, and then sew down the centre. It's really, really simple. I'd suggest you use something like firm fleece, or a, a, at least an 8640 or even Bosal foam to make it stiff because otherwise when you hang it up it's going to flop and then you will need to put hanging loops or a bar across the back to, to actually hang it up. It's just the front of the panel that you're going to order. Then I ordered one of my books off Amazon, The Bags and Purses. I uh, like looking at your books, they're easy to read. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello Sleepy Cat. In your club, do you sell gift cards that can be used to purchase an early subscription? Yes, if you go to the home page, um, let me see if I can show you this. Hold the line a moment. No, nope, I don't want to go there. I want to do that. And then there. And go half yard club. And do that. So as a newcomer, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Out of the way. Move this out of the way out of the way out of the way you know if your pc could talk to you mine would be going no nope. no i'm not doing that um so that is the half yard club home page come on it's the only time i get cross here we go and this is playing up as well it's just running slowly so this is the home page before you start there we go and if you scroll down Sorry, I'm, tr I'm trying to scroll and nothing's quite happening quickly. It says here, buy a gift subscription. So you don't have to sign in. You don't need to be a member. Go to the little gift box there and click on that. And then you can choose what you're going to buy. So you've got three months at £17.50, $27. You can go for six months or you can go for one year. So all you do is simply select the duration and the currency, enter your, your, the recipient's email and then your own billing address. So you need to choose here which currency you want that to be in, recipient's name, recipient's email address, and then your billing details as well. And then, of course, your payment. Uh, method at the bottom there too. So yes, you can buy subscriptions and it's really very easy to do. So point them in that direction. Uh, a technical understanding person. I love technology, Karen. And I'm, I'm not one of the, these people that's oh, I'm a bit scared of tech. I'm not scared of technology at all. But there are some things like yesterday that completely baffle me. But it's one of the, I like figuring things out. So when I've said before that, that the best thing I love about sewing is figuring it out and the maths behind the sewing. How do I do that and create this and the size and the seam allows that? I, I, like, all, I like all of that stuff. And it's the same thing with the websites. Um, I like to... It's so rewarding when you do... When something goes wrong and you can work out why. Before I came live today because of the issues we had yesterday, um, I, I uh, uninstalled any extra because I've got um, editing software and all kinds of things on here and I've taken everything off. 
so I, I am going to invest in a new PC next week with a bigger memory, um, but hopefully that's one of the reasons why we're, we're okay now. Um, make the, perhaps do the nursery bag of the sew along next week instead of today. Um, of the sew along, Laura, I was going to make a drawstring bag with pockets around the edge. I, I, are you giving me a nudge because we're 35 minutes in and I haven't made anything yet? Um, I don't like to, like with a nursery panel, to make the bag, you don't need the nursery panel, but I'm trying to sell you a nursery panel. Uh, that's being blunt. Um, but with a half yard club, I like everybody to be able to be involved so you don't need a nursery panel, you can use your own fabrics. You come for this one, but that's, that's the idea behind this one. Shall we do some blooming sewing? Because it's getting on a bit now, isn't it? Uh, right, let me show you what we have and what I've done so far. Gary's going to come in in a minute saying it's all looking a bit yellow there. The sides of my panel, let me start from the very beginning because that's a very good place to start. I've cut out two pieces and I'm going to use them as they are. I'm not going to put any sashing or anything in the middle of those. Let me move these out of the way so at least I'm looking tidy. So that's the side. I'm also going to put a strip of fabric across the top just to make that a little bit deeper. And these strips are one and a half inches wide. So that's just going to go across the top of there like that. If you want to make it bigger, no reason why you can't cut through the center and put another strip down here and another strip down each side. But for this one, we're just going to do this. The palm tree square is the same size as the nursery squares. Um, no, they're slightly smaller. I think they're five inches square on those. I can measure them in a minute, um, Gina. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. When I've sewn these together, I'm going to cut out a, a piece of my Debbie Shaw Bursal foam, half an inch smaller all the way around, and adhere that to the back. I could have got away with the smaller seam allowance when I was looking at that. I just thought that could have been quarter of an inch, but we're going for half an inch for this time. So that's what I have on the back. The end panels are going to be one square, again with a one and a half inch strip across the top, with the foam cut to half an inch smaller all the way around. And we're going to need two of those for the ends. The base, now once you've made this, if you're making this from fabric, not from the panels, to make the base, you'll need to measure how wide this is across here. And I should measure that for you actually, because if you're not using the panels, whoops, <laughs> that all went, you're going to need fabric. So this measures 12 inches across by, with the panel on the top, seven inches deep. And the side panels are six inches across. So therefore my base panel needs to be six inches this way and 12 inches that way. So cut the fabric out first and then cut the foam to half an inch smaller all the way around. So I've got the, I'll do that one kind of in a minute. So that's the side, the opposite side, the end panels and the base. The lining needs to be the same size as the fabric and you'll need the same pieces so I have two side panels cut to the size of this, including the border, and two end panels cut to the same size of this, including the border, and one base panel cut to the same size of the base, including the border. And I'm also making two handles to go on this. I've already made one up. And these, let me measure those for you. We'll measure in at they're actually 13 and a half inches, make these any size you like, by four inches wide, and I've pressed them in half, the long sides to the center, and then in half again. I'll do those later on. But let's start with this panel here. So let me just move all of these bits. I think I've got all the bits, that's a surprise. Let me move those out of the way. I do have very long strips. I didn't cut them exactly to size, I cut them from the width of the fabric. So that's going to go right sides together here. And then I'm going to sew with, I'm just moving the selvage out of the way, I don't want that included. And we're just going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance straight across the top. You can pin if you like. I find it easier not to personally. Just line up the edges of the two fabrics as you sew. And then, oh, can you see that? Oh gosh, that's a funny angle, isn't it? I think my camera got moved. And then we'll chop off the extra fabric, actually to each end, like so. 
and then let me take my ironing board which I put oh I put it on the floor that's what the crash was earlier on and I'm just going to iron this upwards I wouldn't normally use this iron but I can't find a mini iron anywhere so that's why and then when you've made up this panel we're going to flip this over and I've cut my bosal foam half inch smaller all the way around so to place this it's easy to do it from this side rather from rather than from the front at this point I'm going to hold the iron over here and give it a little blast of steam whoops and that'll hold it in place because you should iron from the fabric side but from the fabric side I can't see that it's in exactly the right position so that's just enough steam to hold it while I flip it over and then iron from this side now I'm not going to do it now but top stitching through bosal is pretty amazing because the stitches just sink in and it gives you so much texture so if I were to top stitch across either side or both sides of the seam or even down here or you know an echo quilt on the inside of the box it really does create a lovely effect so I'm just giving that a lot of steam leave it to cool before you sew because at the moment I can peel it off and I don't want it to peel off I want it really stuck my scissors Vanessa are the Corbon scissors we've got those on the website I think they're still in stock and yes they are very nice and they're left or right handed ones as well um, Sarah says I love the panels but unfortunately no little ones to make for and the kids aren't willing to cooperate anymore so I just use the panels how selfish that's what sewing is all about be selfish it's your hobby you're enjoying it you make whatever you like so that's that then we're going to sew these four pieces together right sides together so I've got the end panel and the side panel and with the bosal I'm going to sew along the edge of the bosal and that gives a nice a nice kind of hinge so I, I can feel where the bosal lines up and I'll do that on the top and the bottom so it doesn't matter too much about your seam allowance here because this is going to where I'm, I'm going to sew my seam so you can see those don't match up perfectly and it really doesn't matter um, the sashing on the nursery quilt Alana was an inch and a half and I used a quarter of an inch seam allowance so it ends up as being an inch wide that's using all of the half meter of lemon fabric if you wanted to make the sashing wider you're going to need more fabric I did use every scrap with that one yeah one and a half inches wide so I've got that and because I've sewn across the edge of the bow so I've got a nice angle if you sew through the bow so and don't worry if you catch it it doesn't really matter too much but it'll try and bounce back a little bit but if you sew along the edge you get that really nice crease which for a box is really quite good so let's sew this one onto here so again we can feel where the bosal is this is my branded bosal if you have a look on the website yes it's bosal single-sided um, fusible foam but I've collaborated with bosal because it's a product that I use so much I am very happy to put my name to this so my name is well and truly on this it's the first time we've done anything like that and it's been so popular so same bosal just Debbie Shaw branded something I'm, I'm really quite proud of okay then we have this so I've got three together in a row so let's put in the next side so I've got short long short long <laughs> I've just worried I've got one upside down then um, and again line up the edges of the bosal together uh, Elsie's got bosal but it fuses on both sides Mm. Um, not for this one if you're very careful you can fuse the fabric onto one side but don't let the steam travel through too much so if you iron it lightly it may be able to stick to one side um, and then you could use it as single sided bosal but double sided bosal normally you can't turn anything through because it's stuck to both sides so double sided I would use for um, a table run, a sew machine mat, something where you can stick both pieces together and then put binding around the edge 
but this is the single sided. So now I've got the four pieces, I'm going to join those together as well. Can you hear the frivolities next door? My neighbours at the bottom of the garden have got a bouncy castle. It must be a, a bit of a celebration. So it's lovely to hear the kids playing and, and everything down there. So if you were wondering what the noise is, if you can hear that, it's the neighbours partying. Quite envious, I might throw myself over the fence later and go and have a bounce. Right. So we've got that. And then we'll sew in the base, a video of this. Carol, at the moment, I don't have a plan to do a video of this. I'm, I'm actually pretty busy at the moment. Um, so it's on Wednesday, that many hours left in the green room. Um, I, I couldn't see it if, if it's left in the green room. No, nobody's put a note on it. I didn't see it there today. I have to buy a new one. Um, so no, uh, Cheryl, I don't, I don't have a plan to do a video of this one because I'm, I've just got a, 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 such a hectic schedule at the moment. Um, no, Sally, I what, couldn't find it there. So that goes on there. So there's my box shape. And again, this is really easy because I'm going to line up the edges of the bow saw. And you can see that into the corners of this, the fabric overlaps. That's what we want it to do. So on the edges of the bow saw to meet, and again, if you prefer to pin this or put some clips into it, that may help. I'm not going to. So I've, I've lined up this bit. I've lined up the corner here. So I'm just going to start sewing. So let's just make sure that is actually lined up. I've moved a little bit. And start sewing around the edge. Now on the left-hand side here, it's starting to get quite bulky. So I'm going to do a few stitches to get us going and just move this out of the way. Um, I'm concentrating on where I'm actually sewing, which is down the edge of the bow saw. So squish this, push it out of the way, and just concentrate on your stitch line. And as I'm sewing, I can keep lining up the bow saw edges until I get down to the corner. I'll be there in a second. And right on the corner of the bow saw, I'm going to stop with the needle in the down position. Lift it up, turn it around, pull the two edges of the bosal so that they meet, and sew down the next side. Don't beat yourself up about the bosal having to meet perfectly. If it doesn't, no one's going to notice. If you do catch the bosal as you're sewing, it doesn't matter, nobody's going to notice. But I have to be honest, it does make it quite easy to sew the seams when you've got something like the bosal to. Um, to run your needle up against. So again, take control, line up those edges, keep your needle down while you're doing this, and just keep sewing all the way around. Stop as often as you need to, keep lining them up, and keep sewing. I just caught a little bit of the foam there, so I'm not worried about that. And you can see this bit's lifting up a bit. I'm not worried about that. For the most part, it's well and truly stuck down. So again, up to the corner of the bosal. Stop with the needle down. Needle up, turn around, and carry on sewing. Over you go, right. Like so. So I'm just coming up to the last bit now. And again, all I'm bothered about is where I'm actually sewing, not what's going on here. That is getting very lumpy and in the way. But push it out of the way. Nothing's going to hurt. And back down to the beginning. So at this point, turn it the right side out. You may find you've missed some bits. You may find that your stitches are too far away. Or that you've got creases and puckers somewhere. So it's a good idea to turn this out now and just double check that your corners are all cornered, everything's being caught, and you've got a nice square base like so. You'll find this happens, and it will happen even more as we start turning this through and turning it the right side out. The best thing to do when you're finished is to steam it, because the steam just tells to melt away any kind of puckers and creases in the bow saw and you get a nice flat finish again. What I would do here is to take my tailor's ham. So I've actually got something underneath there. Come on. To 
to actually lift it up and force it against the iron, but you can see that's gone perfectly flat again now. Right, so that's the outside. I've still got my half an inch seam allowance, as you can see, all the way around the top. So let's make up the lining. So the lining is made up in exactly the same way, but with a turning gap. So talk comment yourself, because you've just seen this before. Um, Oh, I've just knocked the camera off. Uh, Liana says, my prim mini iron is leaking from underneath where your fingers go and through the steam holes. Um, I'm not sure, Liana, I've not had that before. Can you make sure that the heat setting is on maximum? I've not had that with my prim iron. I do get that with, I've got um, a steam generator iron uh, that I use with my ironing board. You know, my big iron is a steam generator iron. And if it's not hot enough, it leaks. So that, that may be an issue. Just make sure the dial's turned all the way around. Um, if not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what the problem is there. Maybe you could get in touch with Prim. Not sure if they have a helpline, but that's, um, I've not come across leaking on one of those before, but try that one. Hola de Portugal, says Maria. A little tip when you're sewing linings like this. When you imagine, the outer fabric is exactly the same size as the lining fabric, but now we've got the bosal on the inside. The inside of the bag is smaller than the outside. So if you make the lining fabric exactly the same size as the outer fabric, it's going to kind of crease up a little bit because it's bigger. So I'm going to increase the seam allowance only very slightly. This is about a quarter of an inch. So if I increase the seam allowance by maybe I don't know, a couple of millimetre or an eighth of an inch, it's going to allow the lining to sit better inside the bag. So let's, again, I'm just sewing these four pieces together, just like we did before, exactly the same way. And I'll leave a turning gap in the base of this one. Could have made this up before, couldn't I? Hey, Alexis, the lemon just goes with all of the panels. When we first got the panels in, we were going to do a different, because these were on, on Crate and Craft, and we were going to do a different colour of fabric with each one of the panels and lemon just worked with all of them so we ended up with with a lemon for all of them which is why when you order a pan it's the lemon that you're going to get it's the colour that just works really well the colours are quite unusual you know the mocha and, and, and the like an aubergine colour and even the teal greens and the pinks they're not very common colours to match but lemon just matched really well now I'm going to save the basin so I'm just going to have a, a, a glass of water just hold the line so and to sew the base, I know I've shown you this before, but if you've never done a, a box base before, it can kind of be a bit confusing. Because it's tempting to take the edge of your fabric and match it up to the seam. We're going to overlap it. So the edge of this fabric in the base matches up with the edge of the seam. And that's a half inch here. So I'm going to start sewing a half inch in, which will be directly on top of that seam and a half inch in this direction as well. Hello, Amanda. She is completely new to the channel and just bought a couple of books. Thank you. She can't wait to start a project. I, I really appreciate, so I'm just going to line up those edges, but I, I really do appreciate the support that all of you give me because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be doing the lives. I wouldn't be writing books, I wouldn't be designing fabric if it wasn't for you lot supporting me. And, and the website, you're not just supporting me, you're supporting my family because there's, there's four of us. My eldest son's got his own career, but my youngest son, my husband, my daughter, we all work together with the website. So it, it really is a, a family business and we work very hard with it. But again, if it wasn't for your support, and your loyalty and there's so many you know when we do the orders even Tyler who's the newest recruit is recognizing names and I, I just think that's so nice because it's like we've got we've got our own club to oh leave a gap our own little club together so I just wanted to I just want to say that I love you I just wanted to say thank you because I don't think it's said often enough but you are so appreciated you, you wouldn't believe Anyway, enough of that gushing. Just matching up the raw edges, a little bit more than a half an inch seam allowance. So again, it sits in the base. And I have left a, get under that, I have left a turning gap. 
So just back into the corner here. Remember, the corners are, all, are going to overlap. That's what we want them to do. Whoops, into the corner. So I went a bit wobbly then because I was reading Jenny Jones's email. That's not a problem, Jenny. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Alexis. I, I really appreciate your comments. Thank you. Oh, Leslie, that's lovely. Thank you. Just thank you for keeping me sane. Thank you, Anne. And Sarah says, you give us so much back. Thank you to all. Look, we're getting, we're getting all silly now, aren't we? But I just wanted to say that because I do, I do appreciate you lot. Anyway, so that I haven't left it turning up big enough, so you may hear some cracking stitches in just a second. So that's the lining. The lining is inside out. The outer bag is the right side out. So we're going to put the, going to put the outer inside the inner with the right side and the wrong side. That can be very confusing. Right sides together. So I've got the raw edges of the seams matching. And I'm going to match up the corners. This may be a time actually when I do put a pin in there. Thank you, Gillian. I do appreciate that. Julie, go on. Go on, stop it now. You'll have me all upset. So again, lining up this time the edges of the fabric because we've only got one row of bow saw to sew around. So let's just, you can use clips instead of pins if you wish. Don't know why I did that, because I wanted to do that. Thank you, Gail. And Fee, oh, Fee, thank you. Oh, I don't know, Fee, you're a pretty good sewist yourself from what I've seen. Um, oh, Shirley, oh, thank you. No, stop that, rewind, let's go back, handles. Oh, gosh, glad you mentioned that. Handles, we're going to put handles on. Oh, I'm glad I saw that comment. <laughs> That's because you got me going all silly. Um, so your, was it 13 and a half inches of fabric, however long you want them, four inches wide, fold to the centre, fold in half, press, and let's top stitch along each side. Anybody else notice that? Honestly, what am I like? I'm going to put the stitch length up to 2.6 on this one because I'm only top stitching, and just sew along each side. Like so, I haven't put any interfacing or anything on these with four layers of fabric, it doesn't really need it. Thank you, Linda. Honestly, fancy for getting that. I can blame being up at four o'clock this morning. Gail, handles, handles, <laughs> handles. I know, you see, if it wasn't for you lot, I'd have a box, not a bag. Right, so these are now going to go onto each side and it's up to you where you want to put them I think maybe two inches from the center would work well pop that in there nice thing about the bow saw you can sew through it you can pin through it it's it's quite thick that uh, you can measure that if you like just make sure it's the same distance from each side not going to thank you Delia Oh, I've got glue on the end of that. I must have unblocked a, a glue tube with it. Um, but yeah, you can pin it, you can sew through it. You don't need a special needle or anything like that. Um, let's just match up those two handles so we're in the same position on both sides. And pin, that was my... I must throw away gluey pins. Oh, thank you, Denise. I really appreciate that. Olive says, what would we do on Wednesdays and Saturdays if you're not here? Oh. And again, just line those up so they match. Thank you for joining me today as well. I'm not normally here on a Sunday, and I don't think I've ever done four o'clock. The yatter is almost fun. It's <laughs> I love it when you get involved. Nancy's got so much gossip. I know. So I'm just going to sew those in place so I can take the pins out within the seam allowance. Yes, there is a turning up. I remember the turning up. I just forgot the handles. I forgot the handles. Have we got any new Half Yard Club members? I haven't brought it down to show. Saturday is, uh, oh gosh, when am I going to do that? Saturday is so a long day and we're going to make a drawstring bag with pockets around the outside. So it's quite easy. Um, and that'll be Half Yard Club. So half, same YouTube channel, Half Yard Club Facebook page. Um, so have you got anybody new, anybody just joining up? The next project is going to be a child's backpack, which uh, it has turned about bigger than I thought. So it could be just a backpack. 
But I'll show you that on Saturday. That's going to be next month's project. That was quite fun to make. Loads of pockets on the inside and the outside and everything. Then what are we doing? What's after the backpack? Oh, we're going to do a cosmetic bag or a storage bag, however you want to use it. Um, with a zip pouch in the centre and then the side bits that open up. So I haven't made my mind, I haven't done it yet, I haven't made my mind I had to fasten it, but I think the sides folding it with a ribbon on the top would be quite nice. So that's, uh, that, that may be the project for halfway through. We're getting so ahead with these, amazing. So that's, that's a nice little, si oh, do you know, I like that, I like that bit in the big one. And what I've done with that. I'm actually really pleased with that. Let's put the lining on. So now, Flip the handles over, so the outer bag is the right side out and the lining is inside out. Let's pop that inside there. Uh, Liana says, did send you two messages, but I think you missed them. Where did you send the messages, Liana? Was, was, was that emails on the website? It's the inquiries at? I'm sure I've answered. I'm sure I'm up to date with emails because I answer those myself. So I, I might have missed them, but d don't send it to the old customer services or info at if you want to email me. It's the enquiries at. So can you, can you send them again? Don't I miss any emails? Nancy says she's made every backpack of mine, all for great grandsons. Um, a cosmetic bag that takes full size bottles and cans. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that big. It's not going to take your polyphilophy. <laughs> Lining at the edges, if you want to pin, then pin. Not going to for this one. So I'm simply going to sew. So I'm just having, just having a swig of pop. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't like to hear people eating and drinking. Um, and sew across the edge of the bow So obviously no bow on the outside. So edges of fabric lined up this time. And we'll sew all, all the way around the top, just on the edge of the bow there. Assertiveness classes for dogs. I think it'd be rubbish at that. I'm the least assertive dog owner, I think. I'm the one that babies. Oh, little puppy dog, look what I've got for you. That's, m that's me being assertive with my dog. Thoroughly spoilt. Where have you got? Oh, that's the handle, but look, it's just gone in a bit. So again, just run the stitches up against the edge of the bow. So this makes it quite nice, actually, when you turn it the right side out because you get the seam right along the top. I'm not worried about seams being squished open or closed because when this is turned inside out, they'll all be facing inwards anyway. Can you see what on earth I'm doing there? I'm right in front of the camera, aren't I? I just keep running that up against the edge there. It's good, isn't it? Nancy, you know, sometimes when, because I haven't made this one before, obviously I made the bigger one. I think, oh, small one would be cute. I could do that. And if I say so myself, when things turn out well, I'm like, oh, yes, it worked. Because things don't always work. But you don't normally see that. Right, so just run this along here. Well, actually, sometimes you do see that, don't you, when I'm doing a live? It doesn't, doesn't always go to plan. The thing is, as a sewer, you're probably following instructions or you're following a pattern and you're following something that somebody else has designed. But when you're designing something, it doesn't work all the time. You should see the funny shaped creature. I made an owl. Um, actually, I never, I never actually brought this to you as a pattern or anything. It was quite a big one and I wanted tufty ears and I wanted frayed tweed all around his eyes. And it, it was just the silliest looking creature it didn't even know it was very very tall and very thin and huge and it's just weird uh, but it's still sitting on the shelf in my sewing room so i just liked it so much but it's just the weirdest thing maddie if i'd kept the bits and bobs from the original maddie it'd look like something out of a horror film but then you get quite attached and i didn't i'm sure i didn't keep all of those but yeah so when you're experimenting with new projects and new styles and things it doesn't always go according to plan Right, so that's sewn all the way around the top. And now we need to turn it the right side out. Alan made a water bottle holder with belt loops. That's a good idea. Right, I'm trying to find discount code on Half Yard Club. Lizzie, if you go to my blog, it'll give you the discount code there. I'm sure if you ask a member, if you can't find it, somebody will let you know. Can't tell you here because all and sundry are going to use that discount code. Uh, the discount code, by the way, if you're wondering, is if you're a member of my Half Yard Sewing Club, you will, 
The two websites are separate, okay? They're not connected in any way. You'll register with different um, passwords and, and, and everything, completely separate websites. But if you are a member of the Half Yard Sewing Club, you will receive a 10% 10, 10 discount on anything that you order from my Debbie Shaw Sewing website, including sales stuff, anything that you order, 10% discount. And some of you place an awful lot of orders. So if you're one of those and you're not a club member, worth joining the club just to get your discount, even if you don't make any of the projects. Right, so let's squish this out the right way. And again, your bosal is now going to be creased. And I don't want you to be concerned about that because it will steam out all of those creases, which we'll do in a minute. So I have an L, and I have an L in my base, and I'm going to pull the two sides of that away from each other and the edges fold in and I'm just going to machine sew that. If you're making this to sell, sell, sell them, sell them. If you haven't got grandchildren or children of this nursery kind of age, sell them, stick them on Etsy. Um, you may want to make that a little bit more invisible by hand sewing it. To be honest, you know, when you look at, um, I don't do designer handbags. I, I, really, I really don't do designer anything, to be honest. But when you look at high-end handbags, jackets with linings, you'd be surprised how many are machine sold, uh, sewn like this. So I have no bones in... Where did that come from? I've got no bones. You'd look pretty silly with no bones, would you not? Do you know, I remember doing um, a protocol show on Ideal World, and <laughs> Jane... James, the guest, was saying that, um, oh, what's the percentage of body fat and water? I can't, rem I can't remember what the percentage of body fat and water is supposed to be. It's been a long time since I've tried to do anything healthy. But when I worked it out, it worked out that I was all body fat and water. And I thought, I'm, I'm a jellyfish because there's no percentage left in this percentage for bones. So I, I was, I'm a jellyfish. Sorry, I'm very tired. <laughs> I've been up rather early this morning. Um, hi, Anne-Marie. Sorry I'm late. I just got from the hut. Oh, oh no. She tried to break her wrist after a fall but didn't succeed, thankfully. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, Susan's going. Uh, lovely bag. Thank you, Susan. I'll see you again next week. Which wadding did you use in the quilt and how did you quilt it? Pauline, this is... Um, it was an 80-20 wadding, which I, I don't... I don't think we've got any left on the website at the moment, but 80% polyester, 20% cotton, or was it wool? Can't remember. And the way I quilted this isn't anything very special at all. I sewed it all together. This is bagged out, so there's no um, binding around it. And all I did was sew around the inside of each one of those boxes. That's it. It's, it, it's ever so easy. And then I sewed around the edge of all of the boxes all together. But you do what you want. If you want to cross hatch, if you want to embroider or sew around each one of the shapes, um, if you want to do echo quilts, I've done one line, but you could do another and another and another. You could sew it down, uh, down these lines as well. That is entirely up to you. With the top section, I quilted that before I sewed it together, which is why you don't see this on the back, because I bagged it out. So if I'd have sewn through all layers, I'd need to put binding around it because I wouldn't be able to turn it the right side out. The only sewing that I did after I'd bagged it out was the bit around the edge, which is why you can just see that one square around there. Of a quilt of this size, I don't, it's not going to pull away. You know, it's, it's not too big. If it was any bigger, then I would quilt through all layers just to hold everything together and, um, and then put binding around the edge. But this is ever so easy. Susan's just joined. Welcome along, Susan. What's going to be your first project? What are you going to do? What tempted you? What enticed you into joining the club? I'd love to know. I'd love to know what I'm doing. I'm in boy. So, I get my iron. So because I've sewn across the edge of the bosal, I get a nice seam across the top. So I'm just going to press that in place with steam, come on, steam, and that should help iron out the wrinkles in my bosal while I'm there as well. So again, I'm just pulling this so the seam's right on the edge, and I will top stitch around there as well. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry if that's in the way. Anne says, to make no bones about something, the expression comes from 15th century England. If somebody wanted to show that they were dissatisfied with something, they would find bones in it, a reference to finding bones in soup, which was not a pleasant... Oh, this is really interesting. Let me just click on that, see more. 
which is, oh, come on, Seymour, 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 feed me, Seymour, um, which, uh, in suit, which was not a pleasant discovery, therefore finding bones was bad and no bones was good. Well, oh, thank you, Anne, that is fascinating. Don't you love a story like that? What happened? Where did that saying come from? What, where did, oh, no, what happened there? Because we do say some funny things, don't we? I can't, I can't remember instances because I'm rubbish at stuff like that, but I have said things on here and I've had people in other countries say, so what do you mean? What was what, that? What? Um, now, if you wanted to make that even more square, um, fold the seams over and just give that a press and it'll square it all up as well. So the final thing I'm going to do is to literally just sew all the way around the top and that's going to help to keep the lining in place. And I think it looks quite nice as well. So I'm sewing from the inside because that's what I'm used to because on my machine that I use down in the studio doesn't have a free arm. But um, if you do and you wanted to, there we go. Oh no, should we do that? No, let's do that. Well, we could do that. We could do that. We can do what we want. Um, if you want to take the accessory compartment off your machine and sew that way, then of course you can do. So lovely shot of, of my tricep there. And I'm just using the edge of my foot as a guide as I'm sewing around. That went a bit wobbly, you know, don't care. I'm just going to... Oh, see you Wednesday, Olive. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Um, Debbie looked but couldn't find it. I can't remember what I was looking for. I said to someone who's on Shank's Pony. I've not heard of Shank's Pony, Joe. What, what's being on Shank's Pony? Is that being on your own? Funny things we say, don't we? Um, right, so again, just sew around the top. And it does give a nice finish. And uh, because we're sewing through the Bosal foam, you get a nice... Oh, I should have taken a bit more time with this. I've gone wobbly. Um, it does give a nice definition to your stitches because your stitches really sink into the Bosal. And we've got Bosal on the website. It's Debbie Shaw branded Bosal, oh yeah little bit of a collaboration going on. When I've done that, by the way, I'm, I'm not paid for it. I don't get anything free. I wanted to work with Bosal because I really love the product and there may be more in the pipeline, but it isn't kind of a, a paid for exercise. I don't want you to think that. And I've never done that because um, I like other products as well. I haven't used any of the phone, to be honest, but I'm sure there are some out there. Um, but I'd never want you to think, well, she would say that because she's being paid to do it. A lot of people are paid to do it. That's absolutely fine. I'm not. I'm not donated a sewing machine. I buy them. I'm not donated fabrics. I buy them just like you do. And I'm not donated both or phone because I put my name on it. I put my name on it because I like it. And I, I, I do actually, I like the company. And I like the products. Just snipping off those edge. And that is done. Um, again, what I would do is to crease those corners and give them a good old press. That's a nice size, isn't it? That is a really cute bag. And it doesn't have to be for the nursery because as we worked out earlier on, perfect size for your dressmaking patterns. Who cares if it's got toys all over it, it's nostalgic. But if you are keeping fat quarters, fine. But as a, that size is actually probably more, pra I'm doing whizzing over here. And Bigging up the large one that I made before. So that's using three of the squares. I think that's maybe more for keeping a whole row of nappies in. That would make a nice gift to either of them, actually. So exactly the same for three or two. Um, but if you're giving a gift, if you've got a baby on the way, then fill it maybe the smaller one, would cost you so much. You can fill with all, all nappies and talcs and whatever wipes, whatever people use with babies these days and then put some big tissue paper around it and, and tie it up. And you've got a really nice gift there, which is reusable as well. Thank you, my daisy. Put Maddie in it. Where is she? Mad? But, oh, she is. She's down here. Let's see if she fits. <laughs> Maybe a little small for a cot. But a nice little carry bag to keep her in, wouldn't it? What do you reckon, Mads? I really like it. I wonder what she'd sound like if she could talk. She might not even be English. You never know. We'd never know, will we, Maddie? Never know. 
Um, OK, so I hope you like that. A removable three square divider. Yes, I didn't make a divider for this one because the whole idea was to, um, to use your half metre of fabric. So with a larger bag, all I was left with out of using all these squares was one square panel and no fabric left. There was no lemon fabric left. That took exactly half a metre. Um, but yes, I, I would, with a smaller one, you could quite easily... I'll tell you what I'd do with it. I'd cut my piece of Bosal foam to the size that I want it to be, which would be the same size as the end panel. That's the Bosal, not the fabric. Cover that in fabric and then stick it down the centre and I would either, do you know what I would do actually? I would glue it with my HT2 glue until it's really secure. Um, so glue it to the inside right around the centre and then maybe hand sew, hand sew that in place. That's going to be a lot easier than figuring out how to put a divider in with the lining as well. That, that has to be quite tricky to do but that I think would be excellent. Um, Elizabeth made the Maddie ones in pink hearts fleece. Do you know when we had that pink hearts fleece in, Kim said I bought this in because I think it looked lovely for Maddie. So I'm glad you've used that. Thank you. Um, longer handles, absolutely. June. What what else you could do is to fold the edges of that in and put a little uh, stitch at the top, so it'll give it kind of more of a shape, and then you can fasten it with um, maybe a, a magnetic snap. So yes, you could have a boxy shaped handbag that looks. That's quite nice, isn't it? So fasten it like that, fold the edges in, sew down, let me show you. Oh, Maddie, look like you're breastfeeding. Come on, out the way, go down there. Um, so I'd fold that in and put a few stitches here so it automatically closes like that. And you're right, a longer handle, you've got a really nice little handbag. And of course, you don't have to use the panels to make it as well. I'm not going to do a YouTube video on this. So if you wanted to make it up and, and take notice of the measurements and everything, you're going to have to whip back through this demonstration and take a look. Right, I'm going to be back again on Wednesday at four o'clock. Kind of like this four o'clock slot. And it's been really busy, hasn't it? Let me see how many we've got. Oh, do I? Um, and we're going to be talking overlocker. So I'm not going to make anything. I will endeavour to thread the overlock alive and then we'll have a look at um, sewing around corners with an overlocker so a corner go that goes that way on the inside and a corner on the outside I think that's all we'll have time to cover on Wednesday and that's that's what we're going to do and enjoy it thank you I shall see you Wednesday Anne-Marie thank you I'll see you Wednesday uh, thank you Kim. And actually Kim cool bag would be a nice idea you could put some um, thermal wadding in they can hear the kids playing it's got a bouncy castle i think it's lovely um right bye debbie thank you thank you michelle thank you leanne and janet has got a great niece due in february she's going to make a bag for her that's a nice idea thank you june yes i get some sleep i can't sleep at this time of day because i wake up feeling horrible but um, early night, the order of the day, I think. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Linda. Okie doke. What brand of overlock? I've got a brother, Delia. I think, to be honest, it's a four-thread overlocker, and I think it's, it's quite a, a common one. Um, I do have an air-thread overlocker, which Kim uses at the moment, which is a Janome, but I'm, uh, not that many people have them. They're quite expensive, so I'm just going to do a regular four-thread common or garden overlocker, nothing too special. Um, so that'll be the, the brother one. Go bra grab a Doberman and have a snooze. Oh, I'll, I'll have a Doberman's ear and have a snooze. You'll have to watch back if you didn't understand what that meant by then. Um, OK, Sandra, first time ordering from you. Oh, welcome along, Sandra. Remember, if you are ordering a panel, I must change the description on the website. I don't think we've got many left now. But you will automatically get your free half metre of lemon fabric. Don't feel you have to order it as well. You will automatically get it. If you wanted to order more of the lemon fabric, so for instance, to make the quilt, you're going to need another half metre, just order one half metre and we'll send you a metre and we'll, we'll try and do that all in one go. I, thank you. Always leave the iron on. Thank you for that reminder. Who is that? Sara. <laughs> That's undone. Um, I should be making one of these. See Wednesday, my mum was an overlock. It seems just, do you know, um, when I first left school, um, I, I kind of lost contact for a few months with some of my friends. And when I met up with them again, one of my best friends said she was an overlooker. And I thought, oh, I am so impressed. Because whatever job you've got, obviously, it's, it's managerial because you're an overlooker. Mm. Overlooking members of staff. I was ever so impressed. 
And it was years and years and years later, I, 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 probably when I got my first overlocker, I was thinking, you're not an overlooker, you're an overlocker, aren't you? Still a commendable job, but I just got it completely wrong. I thought she'd gone straight from school at 16 to being a manager. So impressed. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, it is 9.18 in California, people just waking up. Morning! We're going now. Um, Jen says, just cut fabric, added fusible fleece for the doll's house. Or oh, watching the... I know, it's been a long time, isn't it, considering. Um, Chris is going to catch up later. Tracy, I'll see you. I know, Anne, I've done it. Um, I shall see you on Wednesday. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you've, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you make loads of bags. It's actually very, very simple, and I'm, I'm really, pl really pleased with that, actually. And um, enjoy the rest of your week. I shall see you on Wednesday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So thank you. Thank you for bearing with me after the nightmare going, going live yesterday. And, um, and thank you for joining me today. I shall see you again on Wednesday. Oh, oh, I need to do this. Hang on. I'm not going just yet. That was the funny thing about the um, going live on your phone. Don't get these where I can do that and flick that over to that page and then do this and then I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.